Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Virtual PC and install Windows XP. First, you open up Microsoft Virtual PC. Now obviously I have already installed Windows XP Professional on it, but I'll show you how to. First, you click on New and a wizard will pop up. It says Welcome to the New Virtual Machine Wizard. It's an easy wizard and you will be able to configure all the options you would like. You click next and you want to create a virtual machine. The other options are use the default settings or an existing virtual machine. You want to create one so you click next. You want the name and location so I'm just going to create one I'll just call it I don't know Windows and it will obviously save in the virtual machine folder you click next and you choose the operating system I'll click Windows XP and I'll click next now you can use the recommended RAM or you can adjust the RAM I have 1.5 gig of RAM on here so you can use anything I'll just say 377 megabytes you can create a new virtual hard disk and it will obviously save in my documents my virtual machines windows windows hard disk dot vhd which a dot vhd is dot virtual hard disk which is the hard disk file now you can make it so let's say this is 65 gigs so yeah we'll just keep it at that and it will obviously expand as you use the hard drive so don't worry it won't use 65 gig as soon as you make it now i've already installed it so i'm just going to remove it and here is Windows XP so I've already installed it usually you would run it and then it would automatically go into the boot screen and then you set up Windows XP but instead I'm just gonna click start and it's going to automatically load you see it will also have install or update virtual machine add-ons which is also some add-ons that you can use which will allow you to make it f full screen or use the mouse on the virtual machine with the computer as well so I'd be able to click in here and I'll be able to click out there obviously it's loading it'll just take a little bit longer because it's from a virtual hard drive not a primary disk hard drive as you, as you see it's not quite a complex program so as soon as you install it it'll be easy. It might may take a little bit longer to install Windows XP on here than it would install it onto a normal computer. Obviously because Microsoft Virtual PC was obviously designed for Microsoft Windows products. But when it installs Windows XP on this, as it the hard disk expands, it is copying files onto a virtual hard disk which gets compressed and then recompressed into a bigger size so obviously it needs it needs to be done a couple of times see now windows has finished loading it's pretty it's a pretty good program this is i'm going to make it full screen so oh well actually i shouldn't because i'm running this but what you can do is obviously i can run it all here so i'll just click alt delete type in password and enter Now obviously I've had this too many days so it's come up with this copy of Windows must be activated. So I'll obviously click no because I can't at the moment. But as you will be able to, you will be, will be able to use this for 30 days and then have to activate it. Now don't worry, you will be able to activate it using Microsoft. They'll let you activate it when you use Microsoft Virtual PC because it's not a real PC, it's just virtual so it doesn't really matter how many times you use it for that. So obviously it's going to turn off, or you can do the quick way, close and turn off. And I'll show you how to change the settings. So you click on settings, and this is the file name, what you're going to call it, how much memory you'd like it to use of your RAM, so your read accessible memory, and then you've got the hard disk that you want it to be, and then you can have other hard disks as well. So I've got two hard disks for it, a C and a D, so they just act as two separate hard drives and then you've just got the normal disks 
the CD and DVD drive that's on your physical computer, which is the main one. Floppy disk, which auto detects it if you have one, and it's got the COM1, COM2 ports, which are for the external devices that you put on. The LPT1 port, which you can also use networking, whether you want it to be. So it's your actual network connection, so your local area connection. Local only, which is between your computer and this. And shared networking, which will be your network connection, which connects all to the computers and this computer's shared files. So it's just left as normal, or you can not connect it. You have the sound, so you can enable the sound. And hardware virtualization, which is just normal mouse shared folders if you install the virtual machine add-ons you can use share folders and then display you can just create it so it starts in, vir in full mode you can also make it so you have the virtual machine menu bar instead of bar or not and then the close you just get to choose whether it close on when you close it what comes up Thank you for listening to my first video, I hope you enjoyed it.